Hello everyone, welcome to the channel once again. If you're watching this video, we are already connected. To make it more meaningful, please subscribe to this channel so we can continue making videos for you. In this video, we'll talk about how we can update Photoshop to its latest version. And to do that, uh, we will be following a two-step process. In the first one, we'll find the latest version. Oh, sorry, we'll find the current version. And in the second step, we will find the updates. First of all, you should know how to check current version of Photoshop. To do that, just uh, find out help menu at the right hand side uh, of the main menu. Just click on help and under help, you'll find something called system info. Click on system info and it will open a pop up where uh, in the very first line where you see Adobe Photoshop version, it will be mentioned. In our case, it is 2019. Next step in the process is to find the updates available. So again, you have to go to the help section and in the end of the sub menu, you will find updates. Just click on updates and it will open creative cloud window. Once you click on updates, uh, the system will automatically open a creative cloud desktop window. If the app is installed in your PC, then in on the right hand side, you will have the list of applications that uh, have an update available. You simply go to the right hand side and find uh, this update button. Once you click, the process will start. Before that, if you want to know more about what has changed, you can simply click on this uh, view more button or link for that matter. If you, uh, just, you just click on it, you'll find all the information related to this specific uh, update. So if you want to read, you can, or you can simply skip and move ahead with the update itself. So moving ahead with the Creative Cloud, click on this button. As soon as you click on this update button, you'll have one more pop-up like this. And in that you have two options, import previous settings and preferences that you were using already or remove older versions so i will select both of them because i want to keep my previous settings as it is intact and also want to remove the older versions if there are any obviously i have 2019 version i'll click on continue now step by step it will update all the uh, small applications that comes as standard with photoshop and the main software photoshop itself Photoshop is open uh, during this update. In our case, it is 2019, which is open. It will ask you to close it so that they can update it. So we'll simply go and close Photoshop and click on continue button from here. As soon as we click, the process of updating will start. And step by step, you can do it for all if you want to. And you can click on all the buttons if required and continue for the update. As we can see, Photoshop is already updated and now it is updating the XD. Similar way, you can update other applications also uh, that come as standard with uh, the Photoshop uh, package or Photoshop bundle. So depending upon your requirement, uh, you can uh, make the updates. All you have to do is click on this update button and the system will do the rest of the things. And uh, now it's time to see uh, whether the application is updated or not. All you need to do is click on uh, open button right here. And this will open Photoshop in the next window like this. So we have the new interface. Now let's check and clarify. Go to help section and under system information or system info, you will have the details available. So as soon as uh, the process gets completed, we'll have to wait for it. This will take some time, but we'll have to wait until the system information gets updated so we can see the latest version of uh, software, whether it's updated or not. So the very first line that talks about Adobe Photoshop version will give you this information. We can see it's 2021. So previously we had 2019, now we have 2021. So click on OK and now it is all ready to use. Thank you guys for watching and uh, do subscribe to this channel because there are many more videos to come. Thank you very much.